This is Kevin G. Hall, national economics correspondent for McClatchy Newspapers, reporting from Rome, New York. Brian O'Shaughnessy bought Revere Copper through a leveraged buyout in 1989. The genesis of the copper mill in Rome traces back to the legendary Paul Revere, who founded the company in Massachusetts in 1801. Today, China threatens his existence and that of other American copper mills. Revere operates around the clock at least five days a week and is the nation's top supplier of architectural copper and the number two supplier of bus bar. That's a thick strip of copper that conducts electricity within power distribution systems. Here at the plant, scrap copper is melted in massive furnaces until liquefied. then cooled into large cakes of copper. These cakes are then run under heat and a machine that presses them thinner and thinner. The end products are massive coils of rolled copper. They are three feet wide but can stretch out a thousand feet and weigh six tons. The chairman of Revere Copper said U.S. policymakers must acknowledge that American companies are not competing against Chinese companies or German companies, but the Chinese government or the German government. These nations establish industrial policies that are designed to lure away foreign manufacturers to home turf and support their exporters. Absent a strategic approach to manufacturing, American companies will continue to shutter their plants and the U.S. manufacturing base will erode further.